Welcome back to Paper Highlighter, where today we dive into the jaw-dropping drama of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After Season 8 Tell All Part 3, as the season nears its end, the Tell All continues to deliver explosive revelations and shocking confrontations. Buckle up as we break down all the drama that unfolded in this intense episode. Angela questioned Michael over his intentions. Angela Deem's daughter, Skyla Deem, made headlines during the Tell All episode by accusing her stepfather, Michael Elisanmi, of being a gaslighter and a liar. Skyla also brought up a Paradise Men group chat that Michael had claimed was designed to assist people in coming to America. Additionally, the private investigator hired by Angela to probe into Michael's past made an appearance, revealing indiscretions associated with Michael, a native of Nigeria. He recounted questioning a woman whom Michael described as a family friend. Although the investigator stated he had found no concrete evidence of Michael's infidelity, Skyla remained firm in her belief that Michael was still trying to deceive her mother. Face questioned her husband Patrick. Face Ramon opened up about her ongoing trust issues, which she attributes to Patrick Mendes' past infidelities and his frequent work-related travel. During the episode, Patrick's brother John McManus joined the couple on stage, revealing clear tension between him and Face. John defended his controversial comment from earlier in the season, where he had referred to Face friend as a slut. When asked about who he believed was at fault, Patrick responded, John is a difficult person to deal with. Patrick admitted that he usually remained silent during conflicts but acknowledged the need to support his wife more actively. Face expressed feeling disrespected by John's behavior during his visits to their home, and both Face and Patrick admitted to occasional discord between them. Rob questioned Sophie's friend Kay. Rob Warren and Sophie Sierra revealed that they weren't living together but were hanging out. I feel like I'm just a friend to my wife, Rob shared with the group. Rob expressed his wish to move to Los Angeles, while Sophie remained unsure about her future plans. He also learned that Sophie had recently experienced her first sexual encounter with a woman. Sophie's friend Kay took the stage to clarify that she is straight and not interested in Rob. In response, Rob criticized Kay, accusing her of enabling Sophie. A clip was shown of Rob flirting with a bottle service waitress at a club, which Rob denied led to anything beyond flirting. Sophie, however, remained doubtful, believing she had seen the woman on Rob's Instagram. Sophie admitted she didn't think she and Rob were a good match. Rob agreed to keep trying if Sophie was willing, but stated he would also be ready to end the relationship if she decided to. After filming Wrapped for the Day, Sophie described her estranged husband as calculated and said he had shown his true colors.